Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back in Tinkercad Code Blocks. Friends, I've been playing with my spiral staircase. I think I've got a way for us to add a pretty sweet rail. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first step, of course, is to switch to Code Blocks and then find your original, but don't mess with it. Whenever you're doing something like this, always click the gear and duplicate so that way you don't lose all the work you did before because sometimes when you attempt stuff, it doesn't work the way you want. I'll also click this link and hit play so you can see how it turns out. This is the spiral staircase we built. And then if you look up here in the corner, you'll find the video for how to make this one if you don't already have it. All right, friends, so the first thing I wanna do is break this apart and I'm gonna throw out this move. I'm gonna build from the ground level for this version. Because of that change, I'm gonna change this to eight as well. So you can see I subtracted five. Now we're gonna add a rail and I'm gonna make a rail with another box. Let's open up its parameters and I want you to type two, 11, and two for the sizes. I do wanna tab two for the edge and I wanna have 10 edge steps to round it. I'm gonna make mine the dark brown so that way it'll kinda have a cool contrast. And then we need to bring in a move to get that rail where we want it. I did a lot of trial and error, and my favorite numbers were 7.5, 3, and 17. Real quickly, I'm going to hit play and let you see how it looks now. So you can see that is in the right starting spot, but it sticks out at the wrong angles. So let me show you how we fix that. We are going to bring out a rotate around. And we want to rotate around X. And I'm going to tell you that the number we're going to use is 22 degrees. You can play with these and find better ones. I'm going to duplicate this. And for the second time, we're going to rotate around Z. And I'm going to tell you that my favorite number here was 10. Once again, you can play with these as much as you want. I'm going to leave the pivot blank. And let's hit play and see what we made. All right, so there you can see the spiral staircases come together, but I've got the height wrong. Let me show you how to fix that. My first adjustment I'm going to do is match this height of the next stair to three and three. Let's see how that looks. Uh, right there, those already connected a lot better than they did before. And now I want to add a center post. So let's create a new object. Of course, we need to rename it. And I'm going to call this one post. And we're going to simply make it with a cylinder. So let's go back to our shapes, bring out the cylinder, open up its properties. I'm going to set it to one of the browns so it has a cool contrast. I would like the radius to be four. And then I have found that the height I like is 90. I'm going to leave the sides at 20 but I do want the bevel to be two. Now we just need to move this into place. Let's go to modify and move. And because it is 90 high, we need to raise it up 45. And then also to get it to the right place in our stairs, we need to do negative 10 for the X. Since we've got our parts all built, let's do a delete object and get rid of that first stair. Alrighty friends, just like that, few lines of code, we have now got a staircase with a rail. Friends, you can continue to fiddle and try and make them better, but if you like what you made, you can hit export and you can save it as a part. When you save it as a part, give it a name. Mine is gonna be staircase and I'm gonna have the word rail with it. You could have a description and tags so it's easier to organize. I like to leave my parts unlocked so that way when I bring them into Tinkercad, I can scale them to whatever size I want. Friends, if you do make something more incredible, don't forget you can share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also share with me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.